Hi, so the topic for this class is uh, paper space and model space. So how we manage paper space and model space and how, you, how we work with it. So I'm going to open a new file. The new file I'm using as tutorial iArch. Hit open. Continue. And so what you see when the file opens up is the paper space or you could even call it a layout space. Now the paper space or layout space is used for primarily printing. So this is basically your page that you would like to print out. And this page is set up to a certain template, is set up to a certain size as in a width and a height. Now let's see what size is this one. So the size we have for this paper space is 3 feet by 2 feet which is 36 inches by 24 inches. So that's typically an architecture D size drawing. So whenever we draw over here we never print from here. We just draw here and the difference between this space and the layout space is when we are drawing we are drawing on a scale of 1 is to 1 so for example if I'm drawing a house that is 20 feet by 20 feet I'm drawing the true exact size but what happens over here this is the page. This is not 20 feet by 20 feet. This is 24 inches by 34 inches, right? So I scale the drawing from the model space, which was drawn in 1 is to 1, to fit onto this page, which is obviously smaller than the actual size. So that's why we use paper space for printing and we use model space for drawing. So now I if I want it I could even print from here but the difference is when I print from here I would have had to give it a scale and then scale down the drawing maybe from here and then print but that is not the right way of printing so every time you print you print always from the D size layout or from the layout space or even you could call it a paper space. Now in the paper space you see something called as a viewport. Now what view viewport is, is a window that takes you through the portal and it shows underneath what's drawn in your model space. So this is the window that will scale my drawing up and down it depends on how I want to scale it. Now if you would look over here right now the drawing is going to be scaled on one fourth scale. Okay, When we are drawing it over here is one is to one. Right now that got scaled to one fourth inch corresponds to one feet. Okay, So now let's see uh, more things that is associated with this. So now in the paper space you already see this template comes with a title block. Now the title block has all the information that you need regarding the project as in the project name, project date, the scale, the sheet, number, uh, the firm name, the revision block. So all this goes into the title block. Now every drawing that has to be printed needs to always have a title block and the best place to put the title block is again in the layout space. In the model space all you do is just draw. You can even dimension in the model space provided you're using annotative dimension. Previously when annotative dimension wasn't there we always did the dimension in the layout as well and we left the model space just for drawing but now you could use it for either or now what else do we have in this 
Now if I go to the layout, which is again the paper space, I can right click on the paper space and I can go to the page setup manager where I could manage the size as in modify and you see the size this is arch d 24 inch by 36 inch so I could go ahead and change it to whatever size that I want it if I were printing on 11 by 17 or 8 and a half by 11 I could go click on that and that would change the size of my sheet that you see over here when I am plotting I could even select this which would fit my drawing to my sheet but what happens there is then your drawing is not onto scale so usually you wouldn't hit that unless you are not worried about getting the exact scale so I could go in there modify my current layout or I could make a new one by clicking on new and uh, selecting which layout that I want if I want architecture imperial I could do that and I could give it a size I could even do that I could right click here I could go to move or copy as well and make an extra D size layout. So right now what I'm going to do is click on move on copy. I'll select move to the end. I hit create a copy and I hit OK. So now I have two of the same exact layouts. Now in one layout I could have maybe the first floor plan. In the other layout I could have the second floor plan and I could keep adding so many different layouts over here as much as I wanted but again that is not the right practice always every sheet is always good to have just one layout so it avoids confusion and at the same time your file size lim remains limited uh, and when you're working with XREF especially which we will come to later on it gets really tough if you have so many different layouts so preferably I would say just use one layout don't use 10 different layouts I see some people doing that but again I think it's not the right practice I'm going to rename it delete it and hit OK okay so now I'm left with just one layout now let's see how we would work with this with a current file that I have so I'm going to go open a file now again this is using the same exact template that I was showing you right now is the size D architecture layout when I go file new I go tutorial iarch.dwt and this is the window that pops out okay so now when I am working on my drawing I always go to the model space and this is where I draw so if I am making something that is 20 feet then I draw a line like this line is 20 feet okay the scale is 1 is to 1 now if I were to print 1 is to 1 scale the exact scale that I'm drawing over here I would have had to have a plotter that is at least 30 feet wide right but again that is impossible I cannot buy a plotter that's 30 feet wide so I have to scale this drawing down in my layout and over here you see I scaled it quarter inch is equal to one feet so my drawing is going to correspond like for every quarter inch that corresponds to one feet and that fits my drawing onto this size of a paper so that's the main difference between the paper space and the model space now what I would be doing is trying to explain you this viewport now the viewport as I said is a window that shows your drawing underneath so right now I am in 
my paper space. If I wanted to jump to my model space from here, instead of clicking right there, I can just double click onto my screen. Now you see this viewport gets highlighted. What that means is I am currently gone through the portal to my model space. And how would I make sure that I'm in the model space? First of all, if this window gets highlighted, second of all, I'm able to select my drawing underneath. Okay, you would go inside the viewport mainly to center your drawing onto your page. Now, if I'm trying to center right now, I cannot because my viewport has been locked. So, there is a way to unlock the viewport. First, I need to get out of here. To get out of here, I double click anywhere outside the viewport window. So I click over there. Now see, if I try to select anything, can I select anything? No. And the reason why I cannot select anything is because when I double clicked outside, I came out of my portal or came out of my viewport or came out of my model space. So first of all, the viewport that you see is locked. So I have to unlock the viewport. To unlock the viewport, I would click one time onto the viewport window and look over here it says display locked and it says yes so I could click on there and make it no so that's one of the ways of doing it the other way of doing the same thing is clicking once on the window right clicking and again it gives me all these options so I could do display lock I could do no okay now a lot of times people lock their viewport once the sheet is set once the scale is set because they don't want anyone to change it okay but once in a while you might have to unlock the viewport and then change the scale or move the drawing inside the viewport so now once my viewport is unlocked which I did right now I'm gonna go double click inside and using my cursor like the scroll mouse I hold it down and I can align my sheet to where I want once my alignment is done I could even change the scale if I want it make it a little bigger right but <clears throat> I am going to keep just a quarter scale right now that's good enough for this exercise and once I have done aligning the sheet scaling my drawing I will double click outside once I double click outside again I'm not able to select anything in okay only thing I'm able to select is the title block why because the title block is in the paper space so I could double click in go there modify it why because when I double click I jump to my model space but never modify from here if you want to modify something in the model space always go to the model and then do that so I can double click out now again I'm in the paper space I can click on this display locked I can lock it again okay now see if I go in I can go in but I cannot scale the drawing I cannot do it why because it's locked I cannot hold down and move my drawing why again because it's locked I could even hide this viewport if I wanted to. If not from here, let's see, where can I hide it from? Display lock, remove viewport, shade override. Okay. I could hide it straight from my layer panel. I could go to the layer panel, look for the layer called as the viewport, which is right here and I could turn it off from there once I turn it off see the viewport is not available but still the drawing is there and if I wanna go unlock the viewport now if I double click I cannot there's no way for me to grab it right so sometimes it's hidden you have to make sure that you go back here turn it on and only then you can grab and change it Again, I will continue this in part 2. Stay tuned.